Some more classic SAT vocab words in this question, but let's look at the uh, sentence first, see what we can make of that before we worry about the vocabulary. Uh, Diego Velazquez was the leading artist in the court of King Philip IV of Spain during the 17th century, but his influence was hardly blank in Spain. And there's that classic colon. They're going to explain what they meant. Realist and impressionist painters around the world employed his techniques and echoed elements of his style. So... His influence was hardly, I don't know, limited or, uh, yeah, limited uh, to Spain because people all around the world employed his uh, his style, right? So that's kind of an important thing to think about when you see this, this colon is remember grammatically what the colon is doing is it's explaining something that kind of comes before it. It's almost like there's a question and an answer. And so when we have these vocab questions, it's very convenient for us because a lot of times the part after the colon is like defining what we were just talking about. It's giving an example, it's elaborating. So it's definitely giving us clues that we can then use. And then here limited to, hopefully you just know confined to is a dead on synonym for that. If you're confined, you're stuck in a place, right? So I, I almost think of like a person being confined, maybe to like a jail cell, they're stuck there. But it has this broader meaning. So someone's influence can also be confined to a specific location, but not Diego Velasquez, he's well known everywhere. So that definitely works. Just to talk about the other choices derived from, well, he lives in Spain, I guess. He's, he's Spanish, but derived from Spain. It's not like his influence is coming from Spain. They're not saying Spain is influencing Velasquez. They're saying Velasquez is influencing everybody else. So this is kind of just reversing the sentence in a weird way. Um, B is, again, kind of reversing the sentence. That would be saying his he has no influence, right? If it said his influence was hardly recognized in Spain, that means that he's not famous there. But it's saying he was the leading artist, right? He's an important person in Spain in addition to everywhere else. So if you chose B, you're kind of just coming up with some meaning that isn't presented in the sentence. So it, it could make sense. Maybe if we had some uh, extra sentences that were saying that he wasn't a big deal, we could justify this. But it doesn't make sense with what we're given, and we really need evidence from what we're given. And then repressed by Spain means that um, almost like the king uh, punished the guy. So repressed is very similar to the more familiar word oppressed, right? You oppress a people, you kind of keep them down. So it's kind of saying the same thing. It means you're kind of kept down. So it has similar vibes to the word confined, but it doesn't make sense here because they're saying, again, he is a leading artist in Spain. He's famous there and also famous around the world. Hopefully all this makes sense. These are all good words to know, but notice how certain words that are wrong answers also kind of similar or, or kind of adjacent to the right answer. It's not like they're just completely wrong. They are completely wrong, but it's not like they're completely out of left field, I should say. They're not completely random words. There's, there's reasons these are there, and so we really do need to pay attention to the evidence that is presented to us in these sentences so that we're relying on real stuff to pick our word, not just kind of what we want to say.